Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Let's talk about how to build a strong or robust, the internet likes to call it robust. To me, I just say strong because it's simpler. Uh, and everybody knows what strong means, right? Weak versus strong. Great polar opposites. Influencer partnership program to supersize grow our business. What the heck is that? We've talked about partnerships. We've talked about influencers. We've talked about different strategies, but today we're going to kind of merge it together and, and partnerships as well. And we're going to combine all those and create an influencer partnership program, a strong one, a good one, a solid one to help build, grow, and supersize our business. Well, how do we go about doing that? Why would we want to do that? Well, number one, we want to do that because working with partners and influencers is one of the fastest, easiest ways to grow and build and supersize your business by getting access to a much larger audience than you might have already. It's one of the ways that you see these businesses that seem like overnight successes. They go out, they partner with a lot of people, they, they get influence. I think of Russell Brunson and his book, free book plus shipping, you know, free plus shipping book model and how he goes and put, takes his show on the road and has all kinds of influencers and all kinds of podcasters and all kinds of people that are well known promote and interview him for his book launches. Incredibly powerful. Makes him a best-selling author overnight for the most part, actually in one day usually. Uh, and, and other authors are doing the same thing as well. There's lots of people out teaching how to do that. And that's using the power of influencers to get the word out, to uh, enhance your brand, to get more people exposed to your brand. It's kind of like the old days of television advertising when you wanted to just get your name out there to reach a lot of people. Now, there's things we want to keep in mind when we're working with any type of partners, but with influencers as well, and especially, I think. Uh, the first thing is we have to pick our partners extremely wisely. As someone who's divorced, I know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to picking the right and wrong partners for us and for our businesses. And it's, it's much the same thing as a marriage. You don't want a fly-by-night, short-term influence or exposure. Uh, people see right through that and the credibility and the trust that you're looking for by by partnering with influencers is lost if you just hire one person to be an influencer and sponsor your product you know there's so many opportunities with social media nowadays to find influencers that you just pay and they get you a thousand or a thousand they get you a hundred thousand or a million likes or uh, new followers or whatever but they're all just temporary short-term things and we want to stay away from the short-term hacks, tricks, tips, and, and things, and go with strategies that are proven and will help our business to grow for the long run, right? I don't think any of us start our businesses thinking, hey, I'm only going to be in a business for a year. I'm going to grab as much money as I can, and then I'm done. If, if that's your philosophy, you probably aren't listening to me. So we want to make sure that we partner with people that have the same ideas about our brands. We want them to be authentic partnerships. We want to find people that really love our products and services that want to represent our brand, that believe in it as much as we do so that they will go out and advocate. And they're advocating from a position of honesty and authenticity and trust and confidence because their audience has confidence in them. And we want to translate that confidence in our products and services. And that comes from real authentic relationships, not fake superficial. I bought a million, uh, I bought the opportunity for you to pitch my product. And that works for some stuff but it's usually products that aren't very deep, right? Might work for lipstick and perfume and, and little things, but it probably doesn't go very far for really big, deep uh, businesses. Uh, we, of course, want to do our homework and make sure that we have really clearly identified our target market. We want to do our homework on possible and potential influencers because we want to have that match. And we want to create a long-term relationship with them, not just a short-term one. We want to make sure that our objectives and that our uh, expectations are clearly documented and shared up front. Any partnership, and I'm going to tell you if this is a huge one based from a very couple of bad experiences, get your partnership agreements in writing. Make sure you go through them together and you both understand exactly what the expectations are, exactly what the metrics are. What are you going to be looking for? Is it conversions? Is it followers? Is it leads? Is it... Uh, engagement is it what is it that your objective is and you have to agree with that with your influential partner then you also have to give them free reign to promote your products and services in a way that is in alignment with their audience and feels right for them and is in alignment with them so 
it is a really, and that's why I call it a, an influencer partnership program. It's not just going out and buying influencers. It's going out and forming long-term relationships with people that are like-minded and want to help one another to see their businesses grow and build in super size. So I got some more stuff, but I'm going to skip it today. You know, I'm going to talk about always continuous improvement, looking at your program, starting it out, uh, implementing it, testing it, tweaking it along the way, continuous improvement, right? I always talk about continuous improvement. Why? Because we always got to be continually improving our businesses and our life and everything. Uh, that's what we're here for. We're here to grow. We're here to become more, better versions of ourselves. Uh, so I'm curious, do you have an influencer program? Have you ever worked with an influencer before as part of your business growth strategy? Uh, I've helped a lot of people get connected with the right influencers for them and set up their influencer partnership programs. And again, it's got to be a partnership. It's got to be long term or you know, assuming, of course, that you're in the business for the long term and to make the world a better place. All right. Share in the comments below your experience with influencers uh, and you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. I like to hear it all. And we can learn from one another. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting strategy to help grow and build and supersize your business. Have an awesome day.